and few words now about the dreaded writing of the PhD thesis. Uh, because uh, again, as I said uh, in other bits, how is to do research and I'm explaining, pacing yourself and managing it and this and that and the other. Uh, students do not understand enough how important it is to keep, and I'll emphasize again, meticulous records and how important it is to write from day one. And what I mean about that, if an experiment is to be carried out, for example, in the laboratory, that has to be put down in paper. What is the aim of it? A bit of a few thoughts about the background, even from the literature. Okay, uh, why we do all, 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 all the things that we do? What other people have done about this experiment, about this area? What's the state of the art? That's the background, okay. Uh, and then how did I do the experiment? The, the student asks themselves. So they write it down how they did the experiment. And then the experiment is run, they record the results. The first thing, the results are recorded, not just keep them in Excel sheets, uh, graph them out. You can see trends much easier in graphs rather than numbers. Uh, even if you talk numbers, some people are very key, are keen with numbers and they can see tables very well. I'm not, and most people are like me. Uh, they like to see trends. So if you put everything everything quickly in a pie chart, on a graph or whatever, you can actually see much easier what has happened in your experiment. So make your results into a graph as easily, as, you, as quickly as you can. That would be my advice to the students. And then uh, any conclusions that came out of that, they should jog them down on paper as well. So before they know it, if if they have all the experiments processed like that before the thesis is to be prepared, they have the essence of the thesis already in their hands. So writing, it will be so much easier to put everything together and then they will have to consult the current literature at the time because by the time they progress to the end of the, of the PhD, the literature changes, more papers come out and so forth. So they always have to be looking at the literature and then it will be so much easier to create the thesis. If, however, they keep making results, recording results, putting them into tables and put them in Excel and leave them there, and then in the end they decide to write a thesis in two or three months, that's a recipe for disaster. It will not happen. I would, If anything like that happens, I would give them a year because uh, writing has to be checked by the supervisor, first draft and second draft and, 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 and fourth draft and so forth. M many drafts have to turn around. The supervisor is not supposed to write the thesis for them. The supervisor is, is supposed to be there to guide the science. The supervisor is not supposed to be an editor of the language and the English. That's not the job of the supervisor. The students should know good English, okay? And the students should follow, for example, the Harvard referencing system that we encourage in that we follow in the CTU. And uh, these are given things. So if these things are not done properly, the supervisor has to go and point at them. There will be more delays and more delays. And then we have issues with delaying submitting, paying more fees, and all these other dramas that would ensue. And those dramas can be withheld if the student starts writing a little bit as they go along throughout the years of the PhD. It's so, so important. I cannot emphasize enough. And also, practice makes better for writing. Sometimes people sit in front of a computer and say, oh, I cannot write anything. My advice to the students would be they should write whatever comes to their head about the experiment. Even if it's bad English, doesn't matter, write it. We are so lucky to have word editors now. So edit, write and edit later, leave it, go next day, edit, it will come back later and it will be better later. So keep doing that and then it will be much more perfected and it will be easier ready for the end rather than just start from scratch and delayed and having all the stresses and all the dramas in the end. That will be a very strong advice I give to the students. Mm -hmm.